In today's lecture, we will solve another problem in GoBack and ARQ. Let's see what's the problem now. Host A wants to send 10 frames to host B. The hosts agree to go with GoBack 4. How many number of frames are transmitted by host A? If every sixth frame that is transmitted by host A is either corrupted or lost. Just pause this video for a while and revisit this question again. I hope you are done. Let's now see what are the keywords of this question in order to solve the problem. The keywords are 10 frames, go back 4 and every sixth frame is lost. So let's solve it informally. In the previous lecture, I have explained you how to solve this problem using timeline approach which is considered to be a formal way of solving that problem. You can follow the same approach for solving this problem too. In this lecture, I will teach you how to solve this problem in another way. If you are really comfortable with my previous approach, you can go with that. Let's see how to solve this problem now. I have predefined certain things like this. There is a sender window. This is the window size the frames that are transmitted by host A, the frames that are acknowledged by host B. In the question, it is mentioned that every sixth frame is lost. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever it is here, it will be lost. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will be lost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will be lost. These markings are just for understanding. And whatever is here, it means that frame is acknowledged by the receiver that is host B and sender and receiver anymore need not worry about these frames, that is the frames that are acknowledged. Let's start solving this problem. The window size is mentioned but not directly, it is like go back 4. So 4 is the window size. And how many frames that the sender has? The sender has 10 frames. So I have just given all the 10 frames by assuming that each frame is having a sequence number like 1 to 10. And then we will start the process. The concept of go back n is it is a sliding window protocol and if the window size is 4, 4 frames will be sent by the sender that is 4 frames will be transmitted by host A before expecting an acknowledgement from host B. Let's see how the problem is getting solved. Now the sender is focusing on frame number 1. So frame 1 is transmitted and now just see what's there in the sliding window. The sliding window, the current window, it has only frame number 1. But sender can send a maximum of 4 frames in this case. So frame 2 is sent. So the window is sliding like this. Frame 3 is sent. Window slides like this. And frame 4 is sent. And the window is sliding like this. So this is the current window and it is having the maximum size that is 4. So there are 4 frames. The sender will not send any packet before getting the acknowledgement for frame number 1. Now what the receiver does now? It sends acknowledgement for frame number 1. Yes. Now what should happen to the scenario? Now sender will send the next available frame in the buffer. The next available frame in the buffer is 5 and sender will transmit 5. And what should happen to the sliding window? It should slide like this and the current window is holding frames 2 to 5. Because 1 is already acknowledged, frame 2, 3, 4 and 5 are transmitted and waiting for acknowledgement and frames 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are not yet transmitted. Now after sending frame 5, the receiver now will acknowledge packet number 2, that is frame number 2. Yes, it has now acknowledged. Now what the sender does, it takes the next available frame, that is 6, and it places there. Now if you observe, this sixth frame is going to be lost. It means the receiver will not acknowledge frame number 6, that is for this frame. After frame number 6 is sent, the sender slides its window. Now the next frame that to be acknowledged by the receiver is frame number 3. Now what sender does? It sends the next frame in the buffer, the next frame is 7. Now 7 is transmitted. And window slides like this. Receiver now acknowledges frame number 4. And sender will send frame number 8. And the window slides. Receiver will now acknowledge frame number 5. And sender is ready to send frame number 9 and it has sent. And the window slides. The current window is having frame number 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now it's the turn of the receiver to acknowledge frame number 6. But unfortunately, this frame number 6 is lost. So receiver will not acknowledge for frame number 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which was sent by the sender 
has been acknowledged. Now it's the turn of the receiver to acknowledge frame number 6 but receiver that is host B will not acknowledge frame number 6 because it didn't receive that packet. So what happens? The transmitter that is the sender will wait for a certain period of time. Once the timeout happens in sender side, it retransmits the entire frame. Now what is the current frame? It's having frame number 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the entire content is now retransmitted because the sender did not get any acknowledgement for frame number 6. Now sender is transmitting 6 again, 7 again, 8 again and 9. After sending these 4 frames, in the receiver's buffer it will have 7, 8 and 9 because these were transmitted by host A and host B also has received it but it will not acknowledge it. Why? Because the previous frame that is frame number 6 was not received by the receiver. So it discards all 7, 8 and 9 that was received by the receiver. It discards the entire content. It clears the memory. Now frame number 6 will be acknowledged. After frame 6 is acknowledged, the sender will send the next frame in the buffer which is 10. So sender is now sending 10. After sending 10, just see the sliding window. It is moving like this. Now sender will acknowledge packet number 7. After receiving the acknowledgement for packet number 7, the sender will have to send the next available frame. But here there are no frames. So sliding window, just see what happens to the sliding window. The sliding window is now pointing 8, 9 and 10. Now acknowledgement for packet number 8 has to be done. But unfortunately packet 8 is also lost. Why? Because every 6th frame will be lost. Here the first 6th frame is 6. And the next 6th frame is 8. So receiver will not acknowledge packet number 8. Now the sender is waiting for the acknowledgement and it is not getting any acknowledgement from the receiver because receiver did not receive that frame. So what should happen? Sender will retransmit the entire window. So what is there in the current window? It is 8, 9 and 10. Now packet number 8 will be acknowledged and sender it slides the window because there are no data to send. Now packet number 9 will be acknowledged. There are no data in the sender side to transmit so the sliding window is sliding like this and packet number 10 is also acknowledged and there are no data in the current sliding window. And this is how the entire transmission takes place in go back 4 for this problem. Now how many frames that are transmitted by host A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So for 10 frames, the sender is sending 17 frames in order to make the receiver to receive all the 10 frames. So we got the answer. The number of frames transmitted by host A is 17. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.